Book of Genesis chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I give you the green plants, I give you everything. But you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow men I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. And you, be fruitful and multiply. Increase greatly on the earth and multiply in it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, Behold, I establish my covenant with you and your offspring after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every beast of the earth with you. As many as came out of the ark, it is for every beast of the earth. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, the bow is seen in the clouds. I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every cre living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Noah's descendants. The sons of Noah who went, from, who went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the people of the whole earth were dispersed. Noah began to be a man of the soil, and he planted a vineyard. He drank of the wine and became drunk and lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both, both their shoulders, and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned backward, and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be to his brother, to his brothers. He also said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and let Canaan be his servant. May God enlarge Japheth, and let him dwell in the tents of Shem, and let Canaan be his servant. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. So, here God gives us a, I suppose, a warning. That whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. So, I suppose that is to say that whoever hurts man shall be hurt by man. And, hmm, I suppose that could be like a prelude almost to Jesus in that in the New Testament he overcame Satan, he overcame death. And that is to say that the blood that was shed by sin was returned to sin through Jesus' crucifixion. Another thing is the new covenant between God and every living thing that was in the ark. 
not just including Noah, it was to every living thing in the ark, that God would not do what he had done before to the earth. He wouldn't flood it again to try and cut off all life. And it says that, when I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. So, the, the bow, which I'm presuming to be a rainbow, but I could be wrong. Whenever God sees that rainbow, he is reminded of the covenant between him and Noah and all flesh, that God will not destroy the earth by flooding it. That that is a thing of the past, and that the rainbow always reminds God of that. And I suppose that should remind us of God's love too, the rainbow. That should remind us of God's love and God's covenant between him and Noah. Another thing is that Ham, the father of Canaan, saw Noah naked. And when he saw Noah naked, he didn't really rush to cover him up. He told his two other brothers. So, like, you know, presumably some sort of gossiping could have occurred here. And I suppose that's why Noah cursed Canaan who was, again, Ham's son. But the older two brothers, Shem and Japheth, they covered Noah, and they made it so he wasn't just lying there bare naked. So, Noah proceeded to bless uh, Shem and Japheth. And also, the only one of Noah's descendants that saw Noah naked was Ham. The other two, uh, Shem and Japheth, they walked him backwards. They walked him backwards and covered Noah. So, it is presumed that Ham was in the wrong in this situation. Now, I am, like, a bit confused, but I think I get why. And that is because, you know, like, hmm, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out why myself right now. Like, I think I know why, but I'm trying to figure out exactly why it is that I know why. I mean, I suppose it could just be because Ham saw Noah naked, which is just kind of wrong. Like, no one should have to see their father naked. Oh, actually, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be to his brothers. So, because of the fact that Ham wasn't the one to cover up Noah, because Ham didn't, like, actually take action to protect his father in that way of, like, covering up, covering him up with a cloth, but Sham and Japheth did, Canaan is cursed to be a servant. Because Ham did not serve.
So yeah, I think that's everything that I can sort of take out of this chapter. Yeah, I, th I, I think that's everything. So yeah, that's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is, and have a blessed day.